Hey, I want to talk a little bit about time. Time, 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 man. <laughs> I talk about uh, you know grinding grinding I uh, also talk about you know um, you know just the younger people these days you know Gary V talks about it too and <clears throat> what's ironic is I just found Gary V maybe what last August maybe um, but he talks a lot about you know uh, you know going hard for three to five years you know um, sometimes I think he's talking more in regards to, you know, marketing people, maybe going 18 hardcore months. Um, I talk to our community about going hard. If you're just starting out, if you're just starting out, going hard for five years, uh, you got to give your business an opportunity to, you know, find its own, you know, find its own grind. Uh, I mean, these new guys I've been talking with, these younger guys, I mean, maybe a couple of them you know, um, you know, these 20, 22, 25-year-old guys where, you know, they're not sure about, you know, how to get accounts or how to get, you know, customers. Um, you know, I'm one to tell them because of my own experience, which my own experience just happened. It just happened you know some of you know my story some of you don't um, you know 2002 my business began um, at the end of that year at the end of that year I had this funny feeling finances weren't gonna happen and they sure did not I'm a recipient of welfare that year um, don't get me wrong it was basically a loan I ended up paying that back. Long story, not the story I want to talk about right now. I want to talk about time. Um, but in 2011, some of you have seen my story out there recently where I talk about quitting. Um, and it was all because of a property manager. Um, but I just was ready to quit because I didn't have any money to start up. Okay? So. On a Friday, a commercial property owner emailed me on a Friday. You guys maybe have heard this story. And she asked me, you know, how was your winter? So I told her, you know, how this property manager did not pay us $4,000. So come that spring, we were hurting. I mean, we didn't have no money to start up, no money to get oil, fuel, payroll, nothing. And no kidding that Monday in my mailbox $1,000 now <clears throat> now thousand dollars is not much you know but it did get us going it did get us started it did save my season um, I say the rest is history but what year are we in now <clears throat> there's a lot of work um, a lot of behind the scenes things that you know needed to transpire and they did um, so getting back to my time thing so from 2011 to 2016 I went hard I mean I went hard I mean I don't even know how to describe the hard the hard of you know if we want to talk about materialistic stuff we can talk about I bought a dump truck worth sixty seven thousand dollars I bought a brand new Bobcat. I bought this home, second home. Um, that's going hard. And I've set up, you know, my children to be able to um, succeed, you know, with no real hard tribulations involved. I mean, it's, it's a silver platter situation for these guys. So anyway. This is what I explain to new people, you know, about going hard. And Gary V talks about it also. You know, if you're 20 years old, you know, let's say you go two, three years hard and you fail, you fall right on your face, you know, you're making all these mistakes, you just don't think you can do it no more. Well, think about it. You're only 23 years old. 
and you failed, right? <clears throat> so that's kind of where I was in 2011, where I absolutely failed in my mind because I didn't take the proper channels to get my money, to get that $4,000. You know, I mean, looking back on that now, all of that has shaped me into the business owner I am now. And the business owner I am now is prepay. You pay me now. So I don't have to spend all this time chasing my money. So now the last worry on my brain is money. I mean, the first and foremost concern I have today is being 100% serviceable. And I'm telling all of you guys, no matter how many years experience you have, that should be your number one goal, always. Because I'm here to tell you, I wouldn't be sitting right here had that not been the first thing on my mind. Because after 2011, I got past the whole money thing. Because the phone would not stop ringing. Just really kind of revamped my website and started using WordPress. Um, and ever since injecting WordPress into my business model, you know, I'm not selling you guys on a website. I'm just telling you what has happened to me and what has happened for me. Um, it's been our main lead generator. Uh, you know, and I know there's a lot of young guys that, you know, you're tapped into the technology today, but you don't realize what a real generator your website can be. Um, but anyway, just know that you're looking at somebody who, you know, was on welfare their first year in business. Um, you know, 2011 was just going to say, forget it. I quit. I'm done. You know, that's why you guys hear me always speaking about don't quit. Because if I would have quit back then, I'd be looking back right now, 2017, at that going, what a mistake. What a mistake. You know? I mean, doing something I love, absolutely love, and then just quitting and saying, forget about it. You know, now I'm working, what, nine to five for somebody I probably don't care for, don't care about the job, and then I'm like that guy, you know, that guy that goes, oh, man, you guys are doing it all wrong, and here I failed. You know, I failed, right? So I just wanted to pass that along to you guys that you do have time. I don't care how old you are. I mean, how old was I in 2011? Think about it, you know, 41 years old. So uh, you guys can do it too, man. And I just wanted to, you know, pass this along that you do have time. Be patient because I'm telling you firsthand experience, even from like this season right here, we had a homeowner association dump us straight up on our face. I mean, just said, we're hiring somebody else. They sent the, how do you say, they sent the termination notice in the mail. They couldn't even call me. They couldn't even tell me face to face in the mail. Um, and this is after just two short years of working there. But I'm telling you, right after I read that letter, I got a phone call probably two days later where I picked up four commercial properties for this winter, which are probably going to lead into lawn care next or this season. So just know one door shuts, you know, maybe four more are open, right? But always keep that in mind. Patience, patience, patience. You got time. I want you guys just to know that, hey amen, you know, as hard as it gets and as tough as it may seem, just keep thugging your way through. Just keep grinding, man. I'm serious because you you could have been like me where you'd be looking back on them times where you just gave it all up, you quit, you said, I can't do it no more, and then kicking yourself. Just kicking yourself that you let it all go. You know what I mean?